Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, I'm back. Okay, now I discovered that my candles are not uh, authentic beeswax candles. And we need beeswax to, uh, to, uh, for the, the three days of darkness. So all my, this was Walmart. This is a good candle. I'm still going to burn it. But for the three days of darkness, we're going to need uh, beeswax candles. You can get them online for $10. Okay, this video is going to be, February is going to be the best money-saving month ever. We're going to make use of all the stuff that we have been doing and we're going to save our money okay so if you guys were very thrifty last month that puts you in good shape for uh this month so um and this month is going to be better okay i can only drink a little of this stuff i think this is what gave me the insomnia <laughs> so i might as well drink it's very late i might as well drink enough to kill me Okay, today they told us there's going to be heavy rain. So I go, oh no, I guess I can't go to the gym. I could see the really heavy clouds um, west of here. Which is bad because that's downtown and that's where the heavy floods hit. So um, the first, when we had the, the Hurricane Hillary... It hit uh, west. Now, this storm seems to be south and, uh, no, yeah, west. And this one seems to be east of me, so it's going to last for tomorrow. But today, I was able to go to the gym. Okay, so that was awesome. Okay, on the way home, I got a free chicken sandwich. This is day two, and I asked them to put extra lettuce and tomato on it. And I asked them for um, salad dressing, uh, salt and pepper, and a knife and fork. <laughs> this is all my free sandwiches. So, and then I had a strawberry pie and a Coke for lunch. Then I came home and I had a soup. I've been eating soup. When it's cold weather, I eat soup. Uh, broccoli and cheese. This is enough for two days. Some days I eat, sometimes I eat this in the middle of the night. But lately, it's been uh, lunchtime. I actually had two lunches. That's why I'm not hungry. And then these are buttery crackers. So I bought buttery bread, and I bought buttery crackers. And I thought, why aren't you buying everything buttery? See, here they are. And I put homemade cashew butter on these crackers, and that was good. Okay, so that was my meals. So, by the time you see this, it will be the 2nd of February, I think. So, the 1st, the 2nd, and the 3rd, I'm not doing the eating out of the stockpile now because uh, last month I ate out of the stockpile 22 times. And this is a short month. So, the first week, zero meals out of the stockpile. But I eat almost all the... This is a nice candle. I eat almost all my meals out of the stockpile. What I want to do is see how long it takes me to eat the rest of the food in there. I think it's going to be two months, maybe three. And if you saw my um, stockpile the last time I showed it to you, you can see it's half as big as it was. Okay, then the 4th through the 10th, I'm eating two meals out of the stockpile. The 11th through the 17th, three meals out of the stockpile. The 18th through the 24th, four meals out of the stockpile. And then the last month, or the last week of the month, 25 through 29, zero. So the first and the last month, I'm eating zero to give myself a little relief in case, you know, I don't know, in case I want to buy something. But still, this is nine, month, nine meals out of a 29-meal month. That is 31%. There's two half weeks and three whole weeks. Last month, uh, I was able to eat a lot more. I mean, I didn't have to buy much at all because I had food from Christmas. 
You know, I had turkey, I had ham, I had hot dogs, I had, you know, leftovers. So, um, January was four entire uh, seven day weeks, except one was a sixth. And then a half a week, the last, uh, the last week. So I, I still went 22 days out of the stockpile. Now that's how you start saving your money. So I didn't have to spend money last month, right after Christmas. That is nice. So if you get some kind of tax return, do not spend it all. Try to go through the house, get all your food together, see what you have and see how long you can go. That gives you a good idea of what you eat and how long it takes you to eat it. So being uh, really thrifty in January gives us a little bit of a cushion in February. And then if we do it again, so this is how we start to accumulate some uh, prosperity. Okay, February, uh, so I don't need anything at all for the rest of the month. But what I did need was I needed some clothes because when I changed my hair color, okay, this color was really ugly and harsh, but I wanted to stain my uh, blonde hair so that eventually after it fades, I can go in with a nice strawberry blonde if all goes well, and I think it's going to. This was Dollar Tree Blonde though, and it's got, it's picked up kind of an ugly cast. So what I won't do is put any more red on it. Okay, so I bought this lovely blouse. If you really want to look different, buy somebody else's clothes. That's not why I did it. I just did it to get myself some clothes that were really cheap, that I might look decent. And so this is a dupe of a good blouse, but it's like an Asian blouse. A lot of the stuff that comes from China, notice how short, it's not a petite though. It's very short in through the arms. That doesn't bother me one single bit because I'm just wearing it around. I don't care if it gets wrecked. Uh, I bought eight blouses and I will uh, wear them out. I don't wear my clothes out, but I will wear them and then I will sell them at the swap meet. So this is the first blouse I bought and I'll show you what I bought. I just thought I'll try to get anything I can get that might look decent. Okay, I bought this lovely blouse. I hope you guys can see it. I bought uh, this blouse. Mostly I just wear stuff around uh, like, this is actually a really nice express blouse. Uh, half of these were half price, so they were $3 and half of them were full price, so they were $6. Uh, this is a really nice Anne Klein blouse. Blonde hair looks good with orange. I don't know about this red. I bought this uh, t-shirt. Here's the front. So, um, this is a beautiful blouse. I bought uh, this lovely blouse. I thought this would look good on a redhead. And I thought, this is really strange. I was literally... I think that's the first one. I was literally a, a redhead for decades. And I thought, wow, it's strange. I have almost no memory of the red hair, even though I was a redhead. But I do have one uh, memory. And at the time, I had really long hair, and it was red. And I had it up in a ponytail. And at that time, short bangs were installed. And I had short bangs. I had a lot of makeup on and I worked with this girl and I thought she was so pretty and she was the great stylist. She was on the chubby side. I don't know what the correct word for it is. And she had these short bangs and she had these um, really high eyebrows, thin. And I thought, wow, that looks good. So I did it on myself and I was going around like that for some time and I thought I looked good. And one day, it was the 4th of July, and we took a picture of ourselves, and I thought, if you just left yourself alone, you would look better. But I literally had red hair for decades. Okay, so uh, also, I bought a clarinet for my granddaughter. 
uh, thrift stores, if you want to, if I find, I got a really nice clarinet for $10, and I got this vase, this is not a vase, this is some kind of a, a light cover, but I thought it'll do for my purposes, I thought it would be cute for Valentine's Day, and so what is great about, if you use artificial uh, flowers, you can tear them up, and you can do more arrangements so it's like cheap fun too okay so um being really thrifty in january being really thrifty in february then comes march so if you go quarters in the year imagine what good shape we're gonna be in okay so uh, i want to talk about clothes okay i bought all these clothes so you might be going well i have to buy clothes for work one thing I always knew about work was I was going to work so they could pay me. Not so like I owed my soul to the company store, you know, like sharecroppers who would just by the end of it get food. So as long as you can look presentable, I don't see any reason to spend a lot of money on clothes for work. For dates, no, just kidding. Okay, um, now next month, this month, February, about maybe four times I want to go through my food and see what I have. So do I have potatoes? Yes. I have instant potatoes and I have a bag of potatoes. Do I have rice? Yes. Do I have beans? Yes. Do I have flour? Yes. Do I have sugar? Yes. Cans. Okay, I put a star by that. Because I do have cans, but I want cases of fruit and vegetables. So uh, probably two weeks out of this month when I find a good deal. I could have got a good deal last month, but, you know, I was being very thrifty on other stuff. But what you can do is you can make assortments of the case. You can buy peaches. You can buy pears, eight types, mandarin oranges, uh, fruit cocktail, you know, whatever kind you like. Uh, and get the assortment, and the same thing on vegetables, get an assorted case, make your own case. Okay, so I might, might buy that. Powder milk, yes. Oil shortening, yes. I, I need some more uh, solid shortening, but I have gallons of olive oil and oil, okay? Uh, Oatmeal, I put a star by that because I need oatmeal for eating like on cereal with ground nuts, but also granola, oatmeal cookies. Um, I'm trying to grind some of it up. You know when I made the bread with the potatoes, instead of potatoes, a quarter cup, I could have added oatmeal. Okay, nuts. Last month I bought a lot of nuts so I could make oat milk. And so you might be thinking... I don't want to make oat milk. Well, if something happens to the cattle, you know, then you have the nut milk is better than nothing. Uh, and so um, also, do I have everything I need to make fry bread or yeast bread? Cheese, yes. I bought another. I got a really big chub of sliced cheese for under $4. I'm not picky. Butter, I put a star by that because I like to have plenty of butter in my freezer. Uh, soup, I put a check by that, and canned meals. Okay, if you guys shop for canned meals, you know what I'm talking about. There's very little, so I want to, like, find cases of, like, or you can do the assorted case, like beef stew, like spaghetti and meatballs, you know, in case there's no meat by now. Uh, tamales, whatever kind, um, chicken a la king, uh, and then tea, and a, or it could be coffee. Okay, uh, meals out of the stockpile. So, okay, when you're eating meals out of a stockpile, if you go also cheat meals. All right, now I have a box here that I have assembled. Okay, first meal is hot dogs and rice, but I just realized these can be made in the microwave. I have saved so many dishes making food out of the microwave. Oh, I want to show you. I also bought this for Valentine's Day. Uh, this is really nice. Uh, this is why I didn't... I went up to the gym. 
I thought I'm going to take a day off because I was tired because of the insomnia. And so then I ended up buying this uh, rose quartz necklace for my daughter-in-law. And if she doesn't want it, she can just... It would look lovely on me. Not to be selfish, though. <laughs> she can sell it if she doesn't want it. Okay. Um, okay, hot dogs and rice. Uh, tuna. Tuna casserole with peas. Okay, you can cook these in the microwave. It saves so many dishes, I can't believe it. And then, hopefully, it will generate some leftovers. Okay. Ham with cheese and egg sandwich. So last night, I did the microwave egg so I can make breakfast sandwiches. You melt a little bowl, butter in a small bowl, put an egg in there, prick the yolk, cover it with some wet paper towels, and put it in the microwave for 30 to 40 seconds. And voila, you have a breakfast sandwich. Uh, bacons, eggs. So I made my bacon for the first time in my oven. I just put it on a rack. I baked it at 400 and I kept flipping it around. And they say, watch it because it can burn. Grits. I always, if you're going to buy grits, why not get the, I buy these when I get them on sale. Why not buy the assortment? And you get 10. So, or you can have eggs. I mean, yeah, bacon, eggs, and cereal. So at one point, I bought two of these, and so I need to eat these. Cereal, and hopefully you have powdered milk. Okay, now I have been freezing. I just started doing this. And everyone's probably going to themselves. Yeah, I wrote it. Anybody needs that. Okay, I got a free sandwich at 7-Eleven. Um, it was one of these breakfast sandwiches on French toast. I go, wow, this is so good. So um, whether it be from McDonald's, whether it be from Dollar Tree, I want to have seven of them in my freezer so that I can just have lunch or eat it at McDonald's. If you got the free app, why not? Also, I have been freezing. Where is it? Here, this one is from... Um, 7-Eleven. I'm freezing pies for when I need them. Mostly I eat those at lunch. Okay, pre-made sandwiches. Dollar Tree or Walgreens. Pies, frozen, jello, and pudding. So in this, so I'm kind of preparing. So I have these two. Until I think it's the fourth. Um, I don't start out of the stockpile, but uh, next week is only two days out of the stockpile, so I could eat one meal at the beginning of the week, since I just came off of a week where I was pretty much eating anything I wanted, and then if I made a meal with leftovers, that would put me in a really good spot next week. Okay, so jello and pudding. And then I want to mention again, buttery bread. So I bought, I bought buttery rolls at Walmart, crackers and pretzels. Okay, also this month I want to add roasted potatoes. I think roasted comes out better than trying to make fries in the oven. Baked squash, and if you have leftovers, the next day you can make some squash soup. But you can eat that like uh, potatoes, so I'm going to be buying a couple I went to the food bank one time and they gave us an assortment of squash and I think that's good in summertime beets. Um, I have a few cans, but when I do the vegetables, one of the things I'm looking for is pickled food. Uh, pumpkins, uh, you know, the edible kind, sweet potatoes, apples, and potato soup or canned soup. Uh, more foods with roots so that, look at my little um, celery, how it has uh, sprouted in just a few days. Let's see if it has any roots yet. Not too many, a couple, but eventually they get roots, change the water every day or two. And then here's my little African violet that got a terrible sunburn. It's revived, the other one didn't. 
I thought it could do some photosynthesizing. Uh, these are good uh, pretzels for putting in your soup. And then uh, also, if you're gonna eat sandwiches, Dollar Tree, and then I got these 75% off. So I am making a special effort to get everything marked down. So I'm looking for celery, lettuce, onions, and also you can sprout potatoes. Okay, now I thought we were gonna get like another hurricane. Uh, the coast is not clear yet, but what happened was I dug my whole garden up. It was so unsuccessful, it was full of gophers. And I threw all the dirt in the corner of my yard. And then I thought, well, it's not doing any good there. I'm gonna remove it and, you know, fill in my flower beds for now. And my idea was to buy more. I got this dirt free and I thought, well, maybe that was part of the problem. But anyway, what happened is I think a lot of this food that I um, planted out of my uh, seeds just didn't sprout. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. So I ha I'm going to go through my garden and I've got quite a few uh, free plants. And if you don't have a big yard, just set up a little window seal or balcony if you have a balcony. And even a couple of my flowering plants that I threw in the corner have sprouted out and I thought you deserve to live. Okay, um, and then I'll be doing uh, indoor. Okay, so now this month I want to concentrate on health by cutting down on Diet Coke until I, it takes me forever to quit anything. When I quit drinking alcohol, it took me a year and a half. I couldn't stand it. And then saving all the money I possibly can because when you get older, you cannot see into the future. But one thing for sure is you want to protect your health and you want to protect your money. And I mean, not being a penny pincher to the point where life is miserable, but pretty much. Okay, now I want to talk about wars and rumors of wars. Okay, we're having some some issues but um the past is usually a pretty good indica indicator of the the future so we had the ukraine war and they wanted to join nato and they wanted us to join the fight in the worst way and now we have israel a uh, ditto and now we have and also uh israel's um dome whatever failed and now our missile defense failed and it's kind of similar so we have to wait and see what happens but the most thing we want to do is make sure we have money and food and water okay now i want to think about markdown food and frozen food number one is pancakes made from scratch Number two is French toast from the frozen section because those breakfast sandwiches out of the French toast were delicious. I never thought about doing that. Bagels, English muffins, bread, muffins, cookies, Walmart pizza. Okay, I discovered, I guess I always knew this, but Walmart always has Markdown Bakery. So, so I'll be keeping my eye out. So what I have been doing is brainstorming, like coming up with every cheap thing I can possibly, and some of it is very productive and some of it was crap. Okay, like start thinking of everything possible in your life, everything, like what can I do that's cheap? How can I ha enhance my life without spending any money? Okay, one of the most productive things I did was join the gym. So if you ladies are like me and it seemed like no matter how much I walked, if I went on diets, the, the weight would just come back. If you find some local gym that's not too heavy duty, that is gonna work better than anything. And it's cheap. Mine was $9.98 a month, but then I up my uh, membership to 30 so I could take the classes car living you guys have seen me do that so the more i'm in my car the less i'm in my house and it's giving me some idea of how to do it 
and it's also giving me some idea that you really don't want to do that. I ran into this guy about a week ago living in his car with three dogs. I go, oh my God. Okay, low cooking. I started cooking like out of the microwave, you know, more sandwiches, and it's so time effective, and it's cheaper too. Okay, doing my own beauty services okay this is quite possibly a very ugly color i'm not saying it's not but eventually it's going to fade and i can work my way up to a decent color uh car wash i got out in the rain as much as i could <laughs> thrift store home decor okay i bought clocks i bought vases i bought oil paintings i bought pillows and it was very cheap and then when you're sick of it, you're not going to feel guilty. I gave some of my pillows to my neighbor. I said, here, have them. Um, okay, floral designs. Now, this is fun. This really is. And if you've never done it before, the first one I made was really awful, and I still don't have wire cutters. But this is 100% better. And then buying decent. I bought this uh, vase for uh, $3.00. Uh, okay, and I want to mention something about clothes. Okay, you can go online and you do a search on color palettes fashion, color palettes uh, home decor. So everybody knew about this except for me, and I started doing this. And so I was very miserable when they had us at red, well, it's black and white for summer, like a Dalmatian. And then red and black, which was really miserable. I go, to hell with this. I'm never doing it again. I'm going to beige, brown, and blue. Well, lo and behold, there's, uh, it's beige this year, and there's a color palette. And the color palette uh, includes, like, um, teal blue. I go, I'll come as close as I can. And, and this really helped with the home decor. Okay, and then the other thing I'm doing is shopping with a list. So that's where I, let me give you this list. This is a good list. The uh, stockpile list. I just want to buy basic food and eat my freezers down. So here is the list. And so what I'm doing is saying, do I drastically need this today? Because I want to use the stuff I have down. Like my flowers, I recycled them. But if you want to do uh, floral designs and when you find low-cost flowers just load up and then that will keep you you know do your color palettes and uh, you know get the flowers and then you know use them and then you're tired of them and I have mine in a garbage bag okay you guys I will see you tomorrow please like comment and subscribe and God bless you all bye see you tomorrow